you have to be aware of the people that work in the business area of town that need a place to park. Uh, weather like this, you want to be able to drive down and park where you work if you can, and not have to hike a ways in. At the same time, I know that uh, some of the ideas being uh, floated around have to do with uh, Parking on the outskirts, but you have the uh, city buses that could shuttle people into work. Um, you're already going to get a pushback from the public on that because our society is used to vehicles. We're used to being able to leave five minutes later than we probably should for work. <laughs> and uh, that means that you can't stop at the bus stop or the lot, even over by the uh, YMCA. That's too far for some people. There still has to be some parking. Parking is clearly a hot topic for a lot of folks. I did, I'm ashamed to say I drove down here. I'm trying not to drive so much by the um, today. <laughs> Full disclosure, I drove. Um, however, this is something, I have a business downtown, right? And we do not have, uh, we have a little bit of parking for our staff and for vans, but we have no public parking whatsoever to offer uh, our visitors. And it was, it was an issue for a little bit, and so what we, we basically, we had a little map, and we said, well, there's, there's this cherry lot, there's this commerce lot, there's this lot, and what we found is, you know, it doesn't take a long time to change behavior, and after a few months, folks, and granted, we, we probably have a little younger audience, and so they're maybe not as used to having decades of being able to just park wherever they wanted, and so, it really didn't take long for people to just say, oh, okay, yeah, well, you brought in this amazing band, so, yeah, it's not a big deal for me to walk a few blocks and um, park in this lot. So we, you know, we did, we used to get a lot of complaints. I don't I haven't heard a complaint in probably the last couple of years.